Regardless of how we are using the MDC, whether it's just to monitor the condition of the fans, or if we're configuring the MDC for constant volume or pressure control, the start of the process is the same. Initialize the RS485 network and find the fans. The RS485 network should be laid out in bus topology with each device connected in a chain from the controller to the first device and through to the last. Stub or star networks with one central connection to the controller are not recommended. At each end of the network, there should be a termination resistor fitted to dissipate the energy of the signals passing through it. This is usually included in the communication circuit of the client controller and requires the customer to ensure that a similar value resistor is installed at the end of the network at the last server device. Our recommendation for a network of EBM PAPS fans controlled by the MDC controller is to fit a 220 ohm resistor. Every standard EBM PAPS Morphingen fan with Modbus functionality leaves the production line with the same parameters, and these are Modbus device address 1, 19,200 board, 8 bits, even parity, with one stop bit. If we're installing many fans on an RS485 communication network, we need to ensure that each fan has a unique device address. We also need to make sure that the board rate, parity and stop bits are the same for both the client and all server devices on the network to ensure successful communication. The MDC controller has been configured to be compatible with the standard communication settings for all EBM PAPS Modbus enabled fans. The MDC controller can be used on a network of up to 100 fans, and once the physical layer of the network has been installed and the fans and controller have been powered up, we can start the process of addressing the network. When initializing a new communication network of EBM PAPS electronically commutated fans, the MDC identifies each fan individually by its serial number. It searches the network for the fan with the earliest serial number and assigns it to address 2. It then repeats this process, assigning each fan with an address in sequence until all fans in the network have been found. To ensure that there is never a conflict between two fans on the network having the same device address, the MDC is programmed to ensure that a fan with device address 1 is not permitted. If a fan with device address 1 is added and detected on the network, the MDC will recognize it as a new fan and will prompt the user to define whether it should be added to the network. The MDC controller assigns two identifiers for each fan in the array. The logical address, which can reflect the physical position of the fan in the array, and the Modbus device address, which the fan responds to when sent a command by the MDC controller. This distinction is important for two reasons. Firstly, the MDC has been programmed to initialize the network with the first fan in the array being assigned Modbus device address 2. For every additional fan in the array, the Modbus device address increases by 1 up to 101 for the 100th fan in the array. The MDC does not accept gaps in the addresses of the fans. For example, a 10 fan array with device addresses between 2 and 11 is acceptable. A 10 fan array with device addresses 11 to 15 and 21 to 25 is not acceptable. Secondly, if the client requires a logical order between the fan position and the fan number referenced on the display of the MDC controller, 
the logical addresses and the Modbus device addresses can be manipulated. In most cases, the OEM manufacturer of the array will not take care that the fans in the array are positioned in the logical sequence of ascending serial numbers. This may result in the fan address shown on the display of the MDC not reflecting its physical position in the array. In this example, the initial network addressing has allocated numbers in a seemingly random order because the fan serial numbers have not been examined. This issue, however, can be solved when first initializing the network of fans by changing the order and renaming them on the array in a logical sequence. This fan position swapping is an option that can be chosen after the network has been first initialized. If the controller has been installed from new, it will start in the addressing mode, ready to begin the routine that finds and assigns an address to each device on the network. There are two options displayed. Fan addressing, which starts the routine of searching for the fans, and factory reset, which does two things. Firstly, it resets the fans back to their default configuration, which is 0-10 volt control and device address 1. And secondly, it clears the configuration of the MDC controller back to the factory default condition and restarts the controller in addressing mode. A factory reset can be carried out at any stage and is a useful tool if you would like to reinitialize the fan network and start again. The factory reset option can also be found under the advanced settings in the menu structure. When we select fan addressing, the controller gives us two options. A new fan array is chosen if the fans and controller were new or when a factory reset had just been carried out. An existing fan array would be chosen if you were replacing a damaged MDC controller. If the MDC controller was being installed on a network of fans that had already been configured with unique device addresses, it may be necessary to reset all fans back to their factory default condition and initialize the network as a new fan array. In this case, we are initializing a new fan array. On choosing new fan array, the MDC gives you a choice to specify the number of fans installed on the network or to allow the controller to discover this automatically. Whether you choose to specify the number of fans in the array or use the auto search function, the process is the same. Look for all fans with device address 1 and determine by their serial number stored in the fan memory the order in which they will be numbered on the network. In this example, we'll ask the controller to automatically search for the fans in the network. Once all of the available fans have been found, the MDC asks the user to confirm that the number found matches the number of fans in the array. At this point, if some fans are missing, the network can be investigated for wiring and installation errors. If all fans are present, the MDC assigns each fan an individual device address, creates a network map in the controller memory, and confirms it by performing a software reset.
Once back online, the controller allows the user to change the order of the fans in the network to match a logical sequence by swapping the fans around using their physical position and serial number. In this example, we will change the positions of fan 1 and 3, after which it will be seen that both their logical order and their network device address has changed. Fan 1, with serial number ending A6U, has Modbus device address 2. Fan 3, with serial number ending A75, has Modbus device address 4. To change the position of fan 1, it first must be selected. By selecting this fan, the controller automatically selects the destination as logical device address 2 and Modbus device address 3. The network destination needs to be changed in this case to fan 3 and confirmed to carry out the change. Accepting the new addresses swaps the fan positions with serial number A75 now positioned as fan 1, device address 2, and A6U now positioned as fan 3 with device address 4. Once the user is happy with the positions of the fan and its device address in the fan array, using the escape function left arrow allows the MDC to enter monitor mode. The option to install a new MDC controller on an existing fan array should only be used to replace an MDC controller that has become damaged. When this option is chosen, the controller starts the fan search by looking for the first fan with Modbus device address 2. Once found, the controller looks for Modbus device address 3, 4, 5, and so on until all of the fans in the array are found. If, however, the MDC controller is being used to replace a third party application controller that has assigned specific device addresses for each fan in the array, the network of fans must be reset back to their factory default conditions and the network reinitialized as a new fan array. As described in the previous slide, the MDC will search for a fan with Modbus device address 2 when connecting to an existing array. In this case, the first device in the network has been assigned address 101. Because the MDC starts by searching for Modbus device address 2, it will not move on until it has been found and the network initialization will be unsuccessful. By resetting the fans back to default address 1 for every fan in the array, the MDC can connect to the fans as if it was a brand new installation. 